Bosnian government troops continued their offensive, regaining land previously captured by the Serbs. In the Treskovica mountains, south of Sarajevo, there were Serbian casualties, but the number was not revealed. The dead were hastily buried. In Sarajevo, Serbian forces took their revenge in the worst attack seen there in months. Five people were wounded on Wednesday and five others killed a day earlier. Umprafor officials condemned the attacks. This disgraceful and indiscriminate assault against civilians, the killing of women and children, constitute a terrible crime which should not pass without condemnation and without a concerted attempt to identify and punish with the full force of international law those who are responsible. In Pali, the self-declared Serbian government discussed whether to declare a state of war and impose martial law in its territory. The move would give Radovan Karadzic and his generals total control. As the debate continued, reports surfaced that Bosnian Serb forces had regained some of the land lost earlier in northern Bosnia. Meanwhile, in Sarajevo, the Bosnian Muslim leader launched a blistering attack against Umprafor for failing to protect civilians in the city. He added that his government's military offensive was intended to force the Bosnian Serbs to accept an international peace plan to end the war.